This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Paige Holsey. This is your News 4 update, and we're going to start with Kristen Cornett in the Storm Center. She has the latest on what's shaping up to be a very wet Saturday. It's not going to rain all day long, but it's going to be off and on all day long, if you will. So there will be some dry time from time to time. But overall, if you're looking for a dry day this weekend, tomorrow's probably your better option. Scattered showers through the afternoon. Today's high a lot cooler than yesterday, only about 50 degrees. Tonight, that scattered rain becomes much more widespread, and it will be a soaking rain for hours and hours, continuing through much of the overnight. Notice the temperatures through the evening generally at in the mid 40s. The rain should move out pretty early tomorrow morning and then the clouds part a little bit. Maybe a few peaks of sun tomorrow afternoon. It's a chilly day though. The high only 48. Monday looks dry up to 52 and then some off and on rain chances to take us through the rest of the week. But I want to point out Thanksgiving looks like it might be our nicest weather day all week. Sunny skies with a high of 58. And now to the latest developments in the pandemic. More than 1400 bar and restaurant owners in St. Charles County have received a warning. County Executive Steve Elman sent letters to the businesses ahead of the busy holiday season, reiterating that crowds without masks or social distancing are quote imminent health hazards. Patrols of bars will be done next Wednesday, but the county does not actually have any restrictions in place. St. Charles County also does not have a mask mandate. This will be the first weekend with that new mask mandate in effect in Franklin County. Right now, anyone 10 years or older must wear a mask in public there in Franklin County. The County Commission approved it late Thursday. That mandate will expire on December 20th. Yesterday, we asked diners inside the Pacific Brew House what they thought about the move. I think it's not going to hurt anything. It's a respiratory disease, so you know. I guess that the first place you start is with the mask. I think uh, people should be uh, protecting themselves. Franklin County now joins St. Louis County and the city as the only ones in the area on the Missouri side where a mask mandate is in effect. Missouri just one of 13 states without a statewide mask order. That's your news for update. Remember that we are always on at KMOV.com and on your KMOV news app.